So guys, Eddie Earn was given an interview uh, with Fight Height. And he was asked about Amir Khan and Kel Brook. Um, and he basically was brutally honest with both guys. He, say, he said that if Amir Khan, listen, if Amir Khan, initially people were saying that if Amir Khan lost to Kel Brook, that would really taint his legacy. But it's gone from Amir Khan losing the fight against Kel Brook to if Amir Khan doesn't take the fight against Kel Brook, he'll be tainting his leg legacy. Um, and what Eddie Earn was saying, Eddie Earn's stuck in a bit of an uncomfortable place right now because he's promoting Amir Khan and back in the day he wasn't promoting Amir Khan and he could easily s slag Amir Khan off. But now he can't do that anymore because Amir Khan's one of his fighters. So he has to be... Because he doesn't, he doesn't know what's going to happen. Amir Khan might beat Kel Brook and Kel Brook's career might be over. And Amir Khan might want to continue to fight. So he's got to keep it cushy with both guys. Because you just don't know what's going to happen in that fight. And if Kel Brook loses to Khan, he might retire. And Khan might want to fight guys like Spence and Crawford. And Eddie Earn will want to be a part of that because that's, there's money to be made. Right? But Eddie Earn said something which he hit the nail on the head. And this is what I've been saying for a while. But I think Eddie Earns just got so fed up of the situation. And basically, he's trying to tell Kel Brook and Khan. And obviously, he said to Khan that, listen, you got to take this fight. Otherwise, it's going to take your legacy. He's trying to hit both guys. But what he mentioned, he hit the sweet spot with this. And he basically hit the nail on the head when he said, firstly, Kel Brook's going to have to do things in, his, in this fight that he doesn't want to do if he wants to fight. But... I think he's spot on. I think he's spot on that you're not the A side in the fight. You're the B side. So if you want this fight, you've got to do the things that Amir Khan is asking for. It's pretty simple. He goes, Eddie Earn said, it's not, no, nothing to do with my loyalty or this, that. He goes, I have a, I have a good relationship with Kel Brook. I've been working with him for seven years. But at the end of the day... I'm going to present you a deal. He goes, I can't force Amir Khan to accept a deal that he doesn't want. He's going to, he's, he's putting the terms out there and I'm going to you and Kel, do you want to accept that? Do you want to accept that? Now, Eddie Earn mentioned that, listen, Kel Brook shouldn't accept any terms that he thinks that would affect him winning the fight, or which would mean he couldn't win the fight. But if he feels he can win the fight with those terms that Amir Khan is requesting, then he should take it. And he's spot on. I don't, I don't know why, why, why Kel Brook wouldn't want that. He's done it before. He's done it before. Yes, it's not for an IBF title, but you've done it before and you're not the A side in this fight. You don't, you don't dictate what happens. At the end, and the other thing that um, Eddie Earn said, which really, like I said, hit the nail on the head, he, and I've been saying this for a while. He said, Amir Khan has options. Kel Brook does not have an option. He goes, Kel Brook only has one fight and that's Amir Khan. Amir Khan can fight other guys. He doesn't have Kel Brook. Amir Khan could fight Danny Garcia, which would be a massive fight. Yes, it wouldn't be as big a fight as Kel Brook, but still is a big money fight. Kel Brook has no options. And, and Eddie Earn before didn't ever say that. But he's probably got so frustrated with the situation. He's just telling Kel Brook the real truth. That, listen, mate, yeah, this is your only big fight. You may have to do things that you don't want to do in order to get this fight. But do you want the fight or not? Because Khan can turn around and say, listen, I don't want to fight Kel Brook now. He's not accepting my terms. Let's, make, let's negotiate a fight with Danny Garcia. And Eddie Earn hit the nail on the head. He hit the nail on the head that, listen, you're going to have to do things that you don't want to do if you want this fight. But you've done it before. So don't lose the fight just because of a little bit of ego. If, if you feel you can't win the fight with those terms, then don't accept the fight. That's understandable. But I don't. I just think Kel Brook doesn't want to do the £10. He can do it, but he knows it's going to be hard for him. But that might, that might be the difference in you getting the fight or not, the £10 rehydration clause. You're willing to make £147. Just do that as well. That's all, that's all he's asking for. You've done it before. You won fights with that before. You beat up Jojo Dan with that, with that same rule, right? So why can't you do it now? 
You know, you, you are the B side in the fight. You're not the A side. Khan is the one that's probably going to call the shots. So, in my opinion, it's a situation where you either take it or leave it. If you want to leave it, there's not really any options out there for you. Khan's got a lot of options. You haven't. So, you've got to make... I just think what Eddie Ern said today was... He was brutally honest with both guys. You know, he was just letting them know how the situation. And he basically telling Brooke, it's not about, he said, I've seen Kel Brook give interviews and talk about loyalty. He goes, I am, he goes, I have a great relationship with Kel Brook. But at the end of the day, I can't get Amir to accept something that he doesn't want to accept. I present the terms and I negotiate and I go back and forth with both guys. But I think Eddie Earn's in a bit of a difficult place. But he, in that interview was a perfect interview. He basically said, listen, Khan's got options. Kel, you haven't. So are you going to accept the deal? Yes or no? You know, and that, and I think Eddie Earn hit, hit the nail on the head, if I'm honest with you. But yeah, guys, leave your, leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think of what I just said, what Eddie Earn said. Um... Do you think Kel will accept their ten pound rehydration clause? Because it seems to me that's what is stopping the fight from ha happening now. But leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.